Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests from you guys to make something else emoji themed and I thought, hmm, what's circular and should be an emoji? A donut. I love donuts. So today we're gonna be making emoji donuts filled with vanilla cream with my favorite homemade donut recipe. Let's get started. The things you'll need will be two eggs, just the yolks, three fourths cup milk, one package of active dry yeast, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a vanilla bean, quarter teaspoon of almond extract, half a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, and a circle cookie cutter. Then for the filling, two cups of cold milk and one package of vanilla pudding mix. For the frosting, you'll need powdered sugar and lemon juice. And lastly, vegetable oil to fry our donuts in. Now let's put it all together. First up to making these donuts, pour the yeast into your warm milk. Then add your sugar and mix it up. Once mixed, wait 10 minutes to allow it to bloom. Once it's bloomed, pour our yeast mixture, two egg yolks, butter, almond extract, and fresh vanilla beans. Just mix everything together. Next, we're gonna add our flour and salt, but don't start with the salt because the salt will kill our yeast. So to protect it, we start with flour. Mix the flour in a third at a time. Now it's safe to add the salt and the other third of our flour. Oh! Add the last third of your flour and mix it together. When you can't mix together anymore with your spatula, it's time to knead with your hands. This is one of my favorite parts of baking. I love it. It's also kind of messy and I like that too. Sprinkle a little flour so the dough doesn't stick. Boop, 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 boop. Place the dough down. Push with the heel of your hand and then pull it back and turn it. Just keep doing this. Super relaxing. Like playing with slime or something. Dough's done, you'll know it's ready when it's still firm but springy and tacky but not sticky. In a large greased bowl, place the dough inside, then cover with food safe plastic wrap. Set it off to the side to rest until it doubles in size. While our dough is resting, we get to make our filling. Pour the entire package of pudding mix into the bowl, then pour in two cups of cold milk. Whisk together until well combined and then pop in the refrigerator for five minutes to set. We are minutes away from frying these donuts behind me I've got my oil heating up on the stove as you can see the dough has risen let's get out of here look at it it's so fluffy my favorite part about making donuts is kneading the dough but this may be my second favorite part because you get to squish the fluffy dough all right ready okay sprinkle some flour down on the surface boop, 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 boop. <laughs> this is the moment I have been waiting for ready boop pet 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 you want your dough to be about an inch thick. Take your circle cookie cutter and cut out some donuts. Boop! Cut out as many as you'd like. With your donut scraps, you can re-roll this one more time to make a few extra. It's my special donut. Those little giraffe buns. This is my self-portrait donut with the scraps. <laughs> Brush off the excess flour. I'm just using a little pastry brush. Take a clean kitchen towel and cover them up. Let them rest for about five to 10 minutes. Night, night. Once your donuts have rested, wake them up like this. <laughs> I woke Molly up like this once and I got an alarm clock thrown at me. Now move your donuts over to this cookie sheet. Let's head over to the stove. Turn your burner to medium high, then heat your oil to 350 degrees. I'm using a candy thermometer. When the oil is ready, carefully add your donuts. Fry the donuts on one side for about one to two minutes or until golden brown. Then flip the donuts over and fry the other side for an additional one to two minutes. Remove the donuts from the oil and place them onto a cookie sheet lined with paper towels. Do this for the rest of your donuts and then bring them back to the baking station. Our donuts are hot off the stove. While they're cooling, let's make our donut icing. Mix together powdered sugar and drizzle in a little bit of lemon juice at a time and mix it up until you get the right consistency. We want it to be a thick frosting that will coat the back of a spoon. I'm gonna be using yellow food coloring to dye my icing yellow. Now to fill our donuts. Take a wooden skewer, place it right here and go back and forth like a teeter-totter. Boop, 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 
and that's gonna create a cavity inside. Then take your vanilla pudding mix. I just scooped it into a piping bag with a circular tip at the end. Line up the two holes and gently squeeze. <gasps> there you go. Now do this for the rest of your donuts. Our donuts are filled and ready to dip. This is a super easy way to frost them. Dip them straight down to cover the top. Turn just a little bit. Jiggle, 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 and pull up. Letting the excess icing drip to the bottom. When the dripping starts to slow down, pick up your donut and place it back on the baking sheet. Then do this to the rest of your donuts, being careful not to drop them in your icing. Somebody's done. Time for my favorite part, it's time to decorate. We have red and black royal icing, which we put into piping bags with number two tips at the end, some pink luster dust, small baking brushes, and some toothpicks in case you need them. You can decorate your donuts to look like any emoji face that you want. I'm gonna start with this one right here. Hey girl. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with his little kissy lips. And over here we need a circle, and an eyebrow, and a winky eye. Perfect! Boop. Next I'm gonna make the blushing face, because this is one of my favorite emojis. I use it all the time. <laughs> it's like you're happy, but you're also kind of embarrassed and shy and blushing about it. First do the eyes. They're like upside down smiley faces. Dip a little decorating brush in the luster dust. Paint little circles for the cheeks. Now just give it a little <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite face emoji? Leave it. Leave your favorite face emoji in the comments. Ta-da! There you have it. Emoji donuts with vanilla cream filling. This homemade donut recipe is delicious. I'm going to be posting pictures and the recipe on rosannopancito.com, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can check it out there. And if you guys make these donuts, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. <laughs> and if you have any other suggestions for any other nerdy nubbies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again. Bye. Now for the best part, I get to have one. I'm gonna go for old kissy winky face. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This donut is so good and the lemon frosting is incredible. It is so fresh.